Hi, I'm Mark Johnston, and this is how to use an architectural scale. So, the first thing to know about an architectural scale is that there are actually 11 different scales. Um, there's this six-sided ruler, and on each ruler, there are two different scales that can be used. Uh, and then on one side, there's actually a traditional ruler. Um, the traditional ruler is marked by a 16. And that's because each of the little tick marks is a 16th of an inch. So let's start out by looking at, and we'll get a close up right here, looking at the quarter inch scale. So what you do is you, you go to the quarter inch, the one over four, and you can see that there's a zero, it's after a few little hash marks, okay? And then you see 92. Well, that's not 92 feet there, because what that is referencing, that's 92 feet from the all the way the other side, which is the eighth inch scale. So you can see there's two scales sharing the same surface here. So it can make it a little tricky to read. But if I go from the zero to the two, I can see that that's actually two feet based on the quarter inch scale. That means every quarter of an inch is one foot. So from that zero to that first longer hash mark, that is a foot. So then it would follow that each of these little hash marks are a half a foot. So you could start reading by zero, half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Okay, so that's how that scale is read. Even though that says 90, 92, it's actually not you know 92 on the quarter, quarter inch scale, it's 92 on the eighth inch scale. All right, so now let's quick, quickly talk about activity 1.2, the architectural measurement assignment, and then I'll show you how to use the scale for that uh, to give you an example. So the first thing you're doing is just, it's just real basic, um, review on how to measure. You can use the scale for that. Remember, just a regular ruler is the one with the 16. Sometimes you have to flip it over a few times. So there's the 16. So I'm just going to line up the point there at zero, and it says to the nearest inch. So I'll go over here, I'll see, it looks like it's about three inches. So then right here, I would write three inches. Okay, pretty easy to the nearest inch, to the nearest inch. Down here is to the nearest half inch. So again, I'll line it up at the tip of the arrow, and then the tip of the arrow here looks like about two and a half inches. So I'm gonna write it like this, two and one half inches. Okay, it's important that you put this correct notation there. All right, then to the nearest quarter inch. Okay, same idea. And then write the following numbers in the correct construction notation. This is another part of the lesson. I'm going to focus on the uh, architectural scale for this lesson, okay? Now let's go to the next page. Down here it says, using your architectural scale, measure the lines below using appropriate scale. Measure from arrow tip to arrow tip. Use proper notation for your answers. So right here it's saying scale is in quarter inch. Remember that was the one I showed you as an example earlier. And it's important to know that quarter inch, it's going from right to left. And it's a little odd, right? But the way you read it is from right to left. So let's line up the zero on the edge of this. You know what, let me flip it around. It'll be easier this way. Okay, so you can line up the zero on the corner right here. Okay, and you can go all the way here. Now, this is gonna be to the, I believe, it's probably just at the nearest foot to begin with. I don't think they give you anything too tricky to begin with. So line up that zero, and it looks like I'm at two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Looks like I'm right at 12. It might be a little less than 12, but for these first few ones, uh, don't worry about getting super precise. Just uh, make sure that you know how to use the scale, okay? One little prime mark there it shows it's 12 feet. So what that means is that a quarter inch scale, quarter inch equals one foot, from here to here would be 12 feet. So basically I could measure this with a ruler. I could measure it with a ruler and I say, okay, every quarter of an inch is one foot. I could just do some math. But the architectural scale makes it easy for it because it does the math for us automatically. All right, so that's how to do this one. Eighth inch scale, same idea. 
but find the eighth inch or eighth inch scales on the other side of the quarter inch. Okay, I'm gonna line it up at the zero, like that. Ugh. Sometimes it's hard to line it up, good. Okay, and then I see here, it looks like that's four feet on the eighth inch. So it looks like one, two, three, four. So each line is, is a foot. So I'm gonna go all the way to the other end. It looks like I got 20 here. That'd be 21, 22, 23. It looks like 24. So that would be 24 feet. Okay, now check this out. This line and this line are the same length. The top one up here that's in quarter inch scale and the top one up here that's in eighth inch scale. And look, it's double. Okay, which makes sense because one eighth is half of one fourth. So you're changing your scale factor. All right, so when you, this line, since each eighth of an inch, if I were to mark off each eighth of an inch equals one foot. So there's 24 of them in there. Up here, each quarter of an inch equals one foot. So there's only 12 of them in there. Okay, next we have a scale of one half and it works the exact same way. Measure all three of those lines. Scale of three quarter, measure all three, one, two, and then the third line is up here. So all three of those lines. And then again, using your scale architectural, measure the lines below using the appropriate, uh, the appropriate scale, measure from arrow tip to arrow tip, use proper notation for your answers, round to the nearest whole inch. So now we wanna get some inches in here. Um, so here we go, this is the same line. I'm gonna measure it in eighth, half, three quarter, one and a half and three inch. I'll do the first one and then you do the next three. And once I've done all these, then the video will be done. Okay, so one eighth. So I'm gonna find my eighth inch scale. So there it is. All right, you can use it upside down. You can use it whatever way you want. Just line up one of the tips of the arrows to the eighth or the zero right there. Okay, and it looks like I have almost exactly 28 feet. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just use 28 feet. Um, let me see here. Well, then I'm not gonna have any inches on this one. So, you know what, Let, let's look at this next line real quick. Let's see the second one. It might be a better example. Yeah, I think the next line is a little better example, okay? So I'm gonna do the second line. So at eighth of an inch, I'm gonna line up the zero. I'll come all the way down here and I see I have 28, but it's not quite to 29. So if it's 28, but it's not to 29, then that means it's 28 feet and some amount of inches. In order to figure out the number of inches, I'm gonna slide it to the 28. And I'll, you'll see why I'm doing that in just a second. So now I'm lining up the other end of the arrow with the 28. Now if we come all the way back here, obviously my zero shifted. Now the zero is no longer lined up with the tip of that line. But what it is lined up with is one of these little hash marks. From the zero to this line right here represents one foot. And so since that represents one foot, we can see that halfway, that would be six inches. And then each of these little hash marks on the eighth inch scale would actually represent two inches. Oh yeah, there's another way you can figure it out. You can count every single little hash mark. One, two, three, four, five, six. You say, okay, there's six hash marks. If six hash marks represents 12 inches, then each one would be two inches. Okay, so I'm gonna look in there real carefully and see, and sometimes you have to get real close to it. It looks like six, it looks like eight inches. Okay, so I'm gonna call this 28 feet and eight inches. So right here, I'll write 28 feet, that's the little prime mark, dash, it's not minus, dash eight inches. 28 feet, eight inches, just like that. All right, I'm gonna do one more and I think you'll, you'll have it from here. I'm gonna do the one and a half inch scale because that one's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna find the one and a half inch scale. Where are you? There it is, one and a half inch scale. That means one and a half inches is one foot. One and a half inches is one foot. So I'm gonna line it up with this line. I'm gonna use the same exact line, okay? And notice I've got, this would be one foot right here. This would be two feet and that would be three feet. So it's kind of confusing because that one right there, but that one right there is for the three inch scale that's on the other side, okay? So from the zero, say one, two, it's gonna be three feet and, I'm gonna slide the ruler to the tip, 
of the arrow it's going to be three feet and now see this is a lot trickier right because you got zero to 12 over here and there's a whole lot of little tick marks so just to here is three inches but i'm not there yet so i've got one inch two inches three inches so that means in between that's one inch right there and there's four little marks in there that means each one is a quarter inch so one quarter inch one half inch three quarter inch uh I'm sorry, one quarter inch, one half inch. Wait, are those quarters or eights? Let's see. That's it's one. Is it say one, two, three? So that's a quarter inch. No, that's one inch. That's a half inch. That's a quarter inch. So yeah, they're each quarter inch. So that's one inch and a half. It's an inch and a half. Okay. So we've got one, two, three feet, inch and a half. So three feet dash one and one half inches all right all right clear as mud all right cool uh, there's a lot of other tutorials out there on how to use an architectural scale this was a real real quick example um, I am also going to have a, a tutorial on how to use the interactive the online interactive tutorial uh, where you get to use actual digital uh, scale on the screen. Um, and so I'll probably uh, attach that next. Okay, thanks so much. Have a good one. Okay, here's a tutorial on how to use the architect scale. Uh, you can get this link in the video description uh, for this tool that is from udel.edu. Okay, also, if the screen loads, remember where it says not secure, you can click that. Under flash, you click allow. If you don't see flash right there, click site settings and go to flash and then click allow. Then you'll have to reload the page and you should get this. Okay, so we're gonna go to reading feet. When using a scale, always begin measuring at zero and progress to the right or to the left along the ruler depending upon the individual scale. This edge of the ruler shows an eighth inch equals one foot scale running from left to right and the quarter inch scale equals one foot running from right to left. So one is from left to right, the other one is right to left. You can drag the ruler back and forth with your mouse to see both ends. So go ahead and try that. If I click on it and then drag it, I can move it back and forth to see the whole thing, okay? Look closely at the eighth inch scale. Reading from left to right, each tick mark on the scale represents exactly one foot. So eighth inch scale from left to right. Look, one, two, three, four. Okay, that way each tick mark equals one foot. Note that not all the tick marks are labeled. The first labeled tick mark reads four. The distance between the zero and the tick uh, and the four tick represents four feet. Easy. But now take a good look at the quarter inch scale. Reading from right to left, four scale increments represent only two feet. So reading from right to left, one, two. Those are the scale increments, those big lines. So what does the distance between the labeled tick marks on the quarter inch scale represent? It, it's actually, uh, kind of a trick question. It's they're saying basically, no, nope, sorry. They're saying basically each of the labeled tick marks. Can you see that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's two feet, right? It's two feet because each of the labeled ones is every two feet. All right, what is the distance between the adjacent tick marks? So one long and one short represent in the eighth inch scale. So I'm gonna come back over here in the eighth inch scale. Now look, it says between the adjacent tick marks, one long and one short. So here's the long one and the short one, okay? If this is a, if this is a foot, one, two, three, four, right? Then it's actually one foot between each of the long and the short one, okay? They're each one foot. 
What is the distance between the adjacent tick marks? One long and one short represent for the quarter inch scale. So I'm going to go back over here to the quarter inch. Each tick mark. So if that's probably a half, then one, then one and a half, then two. So they're each a half of a foot. Okay, pretty easy. Once you get all those three questions correct, it'll automatically advance you to the next screen. So let's look at the next screen. Click and drag that ruler. Click and drag, move it around. Okay, the first block says one eighth. So one eighth, so eighth scale, we're gonna measure that line and say how many feet it is. We're not doing inches, just feet. So I'm gonna line up the zero with the end and then go to the other end of the ruler and it looks like I'm past the 28, but I'm not quite to 29. I'm just past the 20, I'm past the 28, but I'm not past, I'm not to the 29. So it's gonna be 28 feet. If I click check answers, it'll tell me if I got it correct. So I can see here that 28 feet is correct. The other ones are red because I haven't entered anything there yet. Now, if I wanna pull up the eighth, the one and a half inch scale, notice I'm just looking at the eighth inch and the quarter inch. All you have to do is click where it says one and a half and it'll change the scale. So on the one and a half inch scale, on, on the right side is the three inch scale, and the left side is the one and a half inch scale. So now I'm gonna line up the zero with one side on one side of the line, and then I'm gonna count, that's one foot, that's two feet, so it's not to the third mark. So I'm gonna say it's two feet. Okay, let me check my answer. Looks like I'm good. Okay, 3.30 seconds. I'm gonna click on that. That's the 332nd scale. Okay, line up the zero. Okay, it looks like I got 4, 8, 12, 16, 36. That would be 37, that would be 38. So it would be 38 feet. Let me check my answer, yes. Okay, then the one inch scale, I'm gonna click on it so I get the one inch scale. Line up the zero to the end. Looks like that's one foot, two feet, three feet. So it's gonna be three feet. All right, the three quarter scale, click on it. There's three quarter. Line up the zero. Okay, four. It's not quite to five, so it's gonna be four feet. Okay, so I did all those. Now when you go over here to these scales, Okay, notice these scales are going to be like on the right hand side. So they're a little bit they're a little bit trickier, right? Because you're reading from right to left. Okay, but quarter inch scale, line up the zero. Okay, two, four, six, eight, all the way to 14. Looks like it's not to 15. It's not quite to 15, so it's going to be 14, I believe. Let's check. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna let you guys do the last four on your own. What about inches? Study the cluster of shorter marks behind the zero on each of the scales. These lines divide one scale increment into fractions of a foot. Since there are 12 inches in a foot, you can read these smaller increments as if, as inches, if and only if there are exactly 12 of them. So look carefully at every scale and identify in each case whether the smallest increment represents exactly one inch, more than one inch, or less than one inch. So let's look at the first one, one eighth scale. Looking at one eighth scale, we wanna look down here and see to the zero and all the little tick marks to the left of it. Don't count the zero line, but count the very last line. So let's look at, looking at it, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six lines down there. It said from the zero to that other line represents one foot, which is 12 inches. If there's only six little marks, what does each mark equal in inches? Anybody tell me? Yeah, two inches, right. So is two inches more than an inch? Less than an inch or exactly an inch? 
it's more than an inch, right? So each on the quarter, on the eighth inch scale, on the eighth inch scale, each one of those little tiny hash marks for the inches is more than an inch. So I'm going to select more. You can check your answers if you want each time. There you go. All right, now the one and a half inch scale. Click on where it says one and a half. Now I'm looking down here at one and a half. I could just look at it and probably tell is each one of those little tick marks more than an inch or less than an inch? Yeah, less than an inch. So I'll just click less and check my answer and correct. Now, 330 seconds. Maybe that's a little trickier. It's really small. I got to get up close to the screen. So I'm going to look at it close. I'm going to say it's one, two, three, four, five. Looks like six. So just like the eight inch scale, scale, there are six. So if there are six little hash marks, each little hash mark represents how many inches? Two inches. Is two inches more than an inch? Yes, so more. Okay, check my answer. Okay, let's do, let's do, let's do a couple more. Let's check, click on the one. Okay, looking at it, should be pretty obvious. If I count all of these little hash marks, there's a lot of them. I don't really want to count them all. The point is, if if this is three inches, then one of these is 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 one inch, and there's a bunch of little tick marks in there. So is it more or less? Is each tick mark more than an inch or less than an inch? Less than an inch. So I'll select less and then check my answer. Okay, so now three quarters scale. So if I click three quarter, there you go. Now this one might be a little trickier. I can't tell right away, but so let me just take a look here. I know that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's probably twelve is right here. So if there's twelve halfway, then I know there's twenty-four of them. So is each hash mark more than an inch or less than an inch? Yeah, each hash mark would be less than an inch because there are 24 increments. So each one would be a half an inch. Okay, so I'm going to say less. Check answers. All right, I'll let you guys do the last five and then I'll go around and I'll check to see how you're doing. It says good job to figure out what length the smallest increment represents. You must look closely at the scale. Recalling that the entire mini scale represents a full foot. If the full foot is divided into 12 parts, each part must represent one inch. If it is divided into only six parts, then each represents two inches. If it is divided into 24 parts, each part represents a half an inch. Okay, for each scale, enter the number of inches represented by the smallest increment. If the increment represents less than an inch, please use the forward slash key on your keyboard to create a fraction. Example, one half for one half inch. So we'll click on one eighth. We'll count. We'll count the number of little hash marks. One, two, three, four, five, six. If there's six of them, then that means each one is two inches. So I'll put in a two and I'll click check answers. So I know that I got that one right. So just like the past, just like the past examples, I'm going to do these first five and then you do the next five. I'll click on the one and a half inch scale. There's a lot there. So what I'm going to do is break it down and make it a little bit simpler for myself. I know that this is three. From here to here is three. So I can kind of tell that these big marks are one inch. See, one, two, three. Okay. So since I can see that, then what I'm going to see is in, in between, that one's a half an inch. The one that falls right between the zero and the one is a half. And then the one that falls right between the zero and the half is what? Yeah, one fourth. So one slash four, check answer. There we go. I'll go to the 330 seconds. 
Looks like there's six again. And what if there's six, what are they each worth? Two inches. Now I'll go to the one. Again, same kind of deal as the one and a half. The one inch scale, if I just look at the three, I can look at, I can see one. So it's like one, two, three. So then I know that's an inch, so that's a half an inch, so that's a quarter of an inch. So it's the same thing. All right, then the three quarter scale. Three, three quarter scale, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 to the halfway point, so there's 24 little marks. So if there's 24 little marks, each one is worth a half an inch. And it's funny because it actually tells you that up top in the paragraph. So I'll click check answers and there you go. Now I need everybody to work quietly on these next five. I'm going to walk around and see how you're doing. Okay, good job. Now a word or two about measurement error. No measurement is perfectly accurate. When making a measurement, your ability to measure accurately is determined in part by the instrument itself and in by part by your ability to use it with precision. Let's assume that your precision is beyond reproach so that any inaccuracies in your measurements are due to the limitations of the scale. In that case, your measurements will never be off by more than one half of the amount represented by the smallest increment of the scale. To see why this is the case, take a look at the enlarged image of the eighth inch scale below. Note that there are six of the smallest increments shown. Since together these six increments total one foot, each incre increment represents two inches. The end of the line does not, if, if the end of the line does not fall exactly at any of the tick marks, but as long as you can tell which mark it is closest to, your measurement will never be off by more than one inch. If the line's end is exactly halfway between tick four and tick five, its actual measurement would be nine inches, okay? So what you're doing is you're estimating um, between five, that would see what that would be 10. So four would be eight inches and five would be 10 inches. So what they're saying is this, go ahead and estimate that it's nine inches. If you call it eight inches, you are off by one inch. If you call it 10 inches, you are again off by one inch. If it's even a little bit closer to one tick or the other, your error would decrease. While your actual error may be higher or lower than the theoretical maximum, you should not attempt to make estimates that suggest precision greater than that of the scale you are using. It is customary to acknowledge measurement error in this fashion, eight inches plus or minus one inch. Here's the line you measured earlier in feet only. To measure, this, to measure the inches, you must reposition the scale until the far end of the line the one farthest from the zero, point of the scale you've used to measure the feet is aligned with the tick mark representing the number of whole feet you measured earlier. This will cause the near end of the line to overhang the detail end of your scale. Now you can read off the inches, remembering that the entire detail scale represents one foot. Okay, this is what they call the detail scale, this little area. If you cannot see clearly, click on the magnifying glass, then drag the glass over the part of the ruler you need to see. All right, so the first thing is to choose eighth inch. We already know we have 28 feet, but let's just double check that. So we're gonna put that here, line it up with a zero, we have it at 28 feet. Now what we wanna do is we wanna move that 28 to the end of the line, okay? And now you notice that as we move to the scale, now we have from zero to an amount. I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass and use it. All right, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four. It looks like it's between four and five. 
So I'm going to say four probably. So that would be eight inches, right? Because there's only six of them. So I'm going to say 28 and eight and check my answer. Okay. And so it's correct. So it looks like I'm doing it right. Let me go ahead and go to the next one. I'm going to click on the one and a half scale. And the one and a half scale is telling me that it is two feet and something. So that's one, two. So again, I'm going to pull the two over there to the end of the line. And I can use my magnifying glass for that as well. Looks like that's eh, pretty close right there. I'll move my magnifying glass over here. Okay. It looks like uh, one, two, three. That big line is three. One, two, three, four, four and three quarters of an inch. So I'll say four space three slash four. Check my answer. Yep, exactly. All right, now I'm gonna go to the 332nd scale and start at the zero. And let's see, it should be 38, so six, seven, eight, 38 and something. I'm definitely gonna use the, the magnifying glass for this. So I'll move that over just a little bit. Oh my goodness, okay. And then go right here and it looks like because there's six, each one is two inches. It looks like four. I think it's four, let's check. Yep, four inches. Okay, now I'm gonna use a quarter inch scale since it's on the other side and I haven't shown you guys how to do this yet. So I'm gonna use the quarter inch scale. It looks the same thing. You just line up the zero on that side. Make sure I got it lined up good. Nope, I don't. So how about like right there? And then go to here. I already know it's 14 and something. So now I'm going to slide it back to 14 and then figure out what the and inches are here. So it's 14 feet and it looks like I have 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 little hash marks. So 1, 2, 3. Again, it looks like 4. So I'm going to put 4. Check my answer. Okay, let me do one more and then I'll let you guys do the rest. So I'm gonna to go to the one inch scale, excuse me, the three foot scale or three inch scale. There we go. Start it at the zero. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to one foot, which is right there. Let me make sure it's lined up good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then, all right, so then I know that each of these big ones is an inch. So one, two inches and mm, one, two, three eighths. I'm gonna say two and three eighths inches. Two and three eighths. Oops, not 87, it's eighths. Check my screen. There we go. All right, so go ahead and finish and do the rest of those. Okay, measuring practice part one. Measure each line using the scale indicated. Each time you get one right, a new line will appear. Try to get three in a row. To indicate fractional inches, use the slash key as before. And be sure to leave a space between the whole inches and the fraction. So, this is about snapping. Your initial practice measurements are made easier because your ruler will snap to a line one end of the line to the nearest foot for the scaled selected scale. Once you've read the whole feet, be sure to fill in the feet entry to answer uh, in the answer field, even if it's zero. This will toggle the snapping behavior to facilitate the reading of inches. Although this snap or this happens automatically, you can check the snapping icon at any time to see which end of the line is currently snapping. If you find that the wrong end is snapping, double check to be sure you have activated the correct scale and also that your feed entry text is filled and then you want to read inches and uh, blank when you want to read feet. Okay. All right, so there's your line. You grab the little scale like this 
and it's saying three quarter inch scale. So over here, I'm gonna click three quarter inch scale. Now I have my three quarter inch scale. I'm gonna line up the zero, okay. I might use my magnifying glass. So three quarter inch scale looks like I am at one foot. All right, so I'm gonna slide it so it lines up with the one foot. Oh wait, so yeah, so it lines up with the zero. I think you have to actually, yeah, it lines up with the zero. So right here I'm gonna put zero feet, and now I'm gonna put in inches. So I'm gonna line up the one. Now, let's see here. It looks like this is probably three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, so that's nine. 10, it looks like 10 inches. So let's see, zero feet. Oh, it should be one foot. One foot, 10 inches. Check my answer. Got it, okay. Now let's put the magnifying glass over here. It's saying one inch scale. So I'll select the one. Line it up. All right, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. So it's actually gonna be eight feet and, okay, so put in eight, eight feet and, oh, why'd it go to the seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, because it wasn't to the eight. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of helping me. That's cool. So seven feet, and then let's figure out the number of inches. Well, if that's six inches, that would be seven. That would be eight inches. Ooh, I'm gonna call it eight, and that's a half, so that's a quarter. So I'm gonna call it eight and a quarter inches. Let's see, could be tricky. Yeah, got it right. Okay, cool. All right, now this one's asking for three quarter inch scale, so I'm gonna do three quarter. There it is, three quarter. And then I'm gonna line it up right there. It looks like I'm, oh, just, just past the 12. So now I'm gonna say it is 12 feet and, so I'll do this. 12 feet and, uh, there we go. 12 feet and one inch. No, that's not even an inch. Holy cow, let's see here. This would be three, I think, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So that's three inches. So that's one inch, so that's a half an inch. So I'm gonna say one half. Let's check it. All right, we got it. All right, next one, it says, you did it. If you wanna continue practicing, use the pencil to draw your own lines. You can draw and measure lines at any angle. Okay, so let's grab that pencil. Here we go. Let's draw a line like that. How about that? Now I can grab the scale. Ooh, look at that, it put it right next to it. And I'm gonna do it in three quarter. Okay, so I have the zero, do I have the zero lined up? Yep, I do. It looks like I'm just over eight feet. So I'm gonna slide, oh, that's right. Up here I'm gonna do eight, tab, and then slide it. Yeah, it doesn't always snap, there we go. Eight and, what are these? These look like they might be half inches. Let's see here. That's three, six, nine, seven. So that, yeah, that is a half an inch. Yep. So, oh, interesting. Okay, so one slash two, it's a half an inch. Check my answer. Boom. So it knows how long the line is that you measured based on the scale. You can just change your scale at any time and use that scale if you want to practice, okay? 
So, uh, let's see. I think that is it for that. And then if you go to the demonstration, here's a demonstration to help you. Left to right. You see that? It goes to 43. Draw it back. See how it pulls it back? And then read the inches. Let's see how it reads the inches. Okay, so it aligns it to zero. We read the feet, which on quarter inch scale is 21 feet. Yeah. And then you move it to the 21 mark. Now we're going to read the inches. So it's over the other side. And there you go. That shows you the inches. That's your demonstration. Now we'll go to practice. And I think that's just what we did. We were just doing practice. So once you've gone all the way through the reading feet, reading inches, demonstration of the practice, then you've pretty much gotten everything out of this scale, uh, this scale activity that you can. Okay. So uh, you can always go back through and practice as much as you can. It should really help you on uh, how to use a scale.